HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Are you looking for a fun, fast-paced work environment? SkyZone Fishers is hiring. Applications can be filled out online at skyzone.com forward slash fishers. Must have weeknights and weekend availability. Good afternoon, HSC. I'm Lydia Meyer. And I'm Kate Hartman, and we're here with your newscast for December 1st, 2017. Our school excels in many areas, in the classroom, on the athletic field, and in extracurricular activities. Nonetheless, there will always be areas where we can improve. One of these areas is making sure that every Royal has access to all of the opportunities that are available and feels welcomed and encouraged to try new things and to take risks. If you're interested in learning how inequities impact HSC and what we all can do to decrease them, please join HSC Students in Action on Tuesday, December 5th after school at the CCA Gathering Stairs to hear from Mr. Darren Slack, Founder and Director of PROACT, an organization that promotes student responsiveness to social issues. Seniors, if any of the colleges you have already applied to are requesting your seventh semester grades, please notify guidance. In January, after your transcript has been updated with your seventh semester grades, it will be sent to colleges requesting your grades. The ESA Foundation Board of Directors offers more than 200 scholarships a year for deserving United States and international students who meet the criteria of individual endowments. Requirements and applications are available at the link below. The deadline to order a copy of the 2017-18 Scepter Yearbook for $50 is fast approaching. Be sure to visit yearbookordercenter.com and reference job 8684 before December 20th to reserve your copy. The price will increase once again during winter break. See Mr. Klobusnik and B130 with questions. The cutoff time for arriving at MathFacts has been changed to 6.50 a.m. due to the number of students participating and to give teachers time to return to their classrooms before the bell. Please be on time as the doors will close promptly at 6.50 a.m. With your guidance news, need college money? Stop by the guidance office or visit Navians to see where the money is. The Knights of Pythias of Indiana are now offering a high school, high school seniors a $1,000 scholarship. There are up to 30 for grabs each year with a guarantee of two awarded to each Pythian district in the state of Indiana. Applications are available at the link below or in the guidance office. Now let's send it on over to Henry Fitzgerald with your sports news. Registration is open for co-ed high school intramural basketball. Players must be a student in good standings at their high school. Parents or players over the age of 18 may register online or complete a paper registration form and turn it into the sports office. Visit hscsports.org for more information. The boys swimming and diving team roared past Franklin Central 148 to 35 last night, winning every event. Individual event winners included Keegan Street, Marcus Eden, Connor Harrison, Nathan Barr, DJ Rogers, Blake Ratliff, Evan Sellers, and Ethan Forbes. The girls' swimming and diving team also cruised to victory and improved a 3-0 on the season against Franklin Central 145-41 last night, winning every event. Individual event winners included Kaylee Witt, Hannah Pugh, Emily Barnes, Sarah Ballard, Olivia Harder, and Madison Curtin. There are a few athletic events going on this weekend. The boys' basketball team competes at Avon tonight. The game begins at 730 the boys will also travel up to Fort Wayne tomorrow to take on Fort Wayne Northside, also with a 7.30 tip-off. The girls basketball team looks to pick up their eighth win of the season tomorrow at home against Greenfield Central. This game begins at 1.30. Both the boys and girls swimming teams compete tomorrow at Brownsburg High School. The meet starts at 9.30 a.m. Again, good luck to all of the Royals competing this weekend. The HSC cheer team has been gearing up for nationals all throughout the season. As the competition approaches, Yashi and Katie decided to see how they're showing their royal pride in their sport. This group of girls has um, been wonderful in terms of just putting the work in and really showing their heart for this program, for each other, and for cheerleading as a sport in itself. So it's been a steady process of preparation, which started with our contest season in uh, August through September and then state that we just had in 
November. We've been able to do tighter routines, work more efficiently throughout practice, and just gain a greater endurance so that whenever we are doing those full outs that we'll hit more things and that we'll be able to really come together and do well. We're going on to our nationals part of the season, so we are revamping the routine to meet those requirements. Last year we placed fourth at nationals, and I think that coming back this year with an like, even stronger team than last year, we will be able to work harder and like get better. They have the opportunity to compete three times in a two-day span. We're going competing at a different division than we were last year. Last year we were all tumbling, and this year we're going actually stunting. My expectations of nationals is for these girls to be proud of what they put on their floor, be proud of being a part of this program. Because we encourage each other so much and that work ethic that we have to develop in order to hit these really hard routines has really shown me that a oil has to be determined. I'm really excited just to work harder and place better than we did before. For HSC TV, this has been Yashi and Katie. That's all I have for you. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, HSC. Don't forget to check out the HSC News app in the App Store and Google Play stores. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.